Hey hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go over to Lon Lon Ranch. What? What's happened in seven years? Yeah, we're gonna go do a little side quest here that is practically required to get the best sword in the game later on. So we should probably do that now. Plus this will really really help us travel through the world and I just realized something I'm here too early in the morning aren't I I'll be back <laughs> ah the fresh country air in the morning here we are at Lon Lon Ranch even though it's called Ingo's Ranch <laughs> So anyway, there's Ingo over here. This is why I came here with a load of rupees and why I haven't spent them on beans yet. Because I have to pay him to do a bunch of stuff here. And I and it may take me a couple tries here. What? What are you talking about? Oh. Hard work. What? Oh, come on now. <laughs> well, I suppose you are harder working than uh, Talon was, I have to admit. But anyway. <laughs> Boy, Ganondorf gave you the ranch. Ridiculous. I didn't know he was into this sort of thing. I thought he was into world domination, not to letting people, like, have real estate or something like that. Sure, I'll pay 10 rupees to ride a horse. Uh, no, I know how to ride him. I'll just show you how to do it, though. So he's going to take me inside the ranch here now. And he's only going to give me a minute to do so. Whoops, I already have my ocarina out. Well, what you want to do is play Epona song here. And Epona will come running to you. Oh, excuse me, Anope. <laughs> and uh, here's Epona. So let's get on here and I'll show you how to ride. Basically, you have these carrots, you press the A button to smack the horse and he'll keep going. I mean, he'll go a little bit faster. Um, to, I'm not very good at uh, riding Epona, but I know how it works. Basically, you just can't, when you're approaching a jump, you can't touch the control stick anywhere else but forward. So, yeah. <laughs> and you also have to have a certain amount of speed as well. Oh, there we go. And, I, and you have to do this twice, I should say, <clears throat> excuse me, you have to pay Ingo twice to uh, let him use Epona before he'll let you... Uh, do the events that you can actually potentially win Epona. So get the feel for her first and then just wait for the timer to go out. And I think I got the feel of her pretty good. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's 10 rupees for one minute. That is a freaking ripoff. I want to go again. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, I know, I know. Okay. Epona, where are you? Can I just like find you and ride you, or will I have to use the song? Yeah, I'm gonna have to use the song. Oops. Yeah, curse you, sea stick You are the bane of my existence. Now, when riding Epona, now what you want to do is go and talk to In Ingo over there. So... And... Go, baby, go! We only got a minute, and that's plenty of time. <laughs> yes, I will talk to you by L-targeting. You're getting better. How about a little race with me? One lap around the corral with that horse? Let's make a little wager. Say, 50 rupees. Do it! You have to win this and then win it again. Okay, now remember. <laughs> He's just like, Wah! And now, this first race, pretty dang easy. It is just a simple lap around here without any barricades whatsoever. Just stay in front of him, and even if he catches up to you, uh, he, he's basically going to end up pushing you forward then. You also want to stay as close to the inside as you possibly can. So that also helps you greatly. Success! <laughs> See, that's pretty easy. But the second race is much, much different. Shush! I'm the great Ganondor found out about this humiliation. Hey, you, I want another race. If you win, you can keep the horse. I'm in. <laughs> So this time, the horse is at stake. And I believe there's also a barricades along the way, unless I'm wrong. Not barricades, excuse me. It is, oh shoot, I'm touching the wall, and I shouldn't be touching the wall. Also, don't let your carrots run to zero. That is a big problem. 
because otherwise you were, you were gonna have trouble catching up with him like I'm doing right now and oh maybe I'll be able to oh I ran out of carrots and I was just hoping to like overtake him and sadly he won that one <laughs> the second race is a bit harder I guess so you may have to do a couple tries at it uh, yeah yeah I'll, I will uh, yeah it's 50 50 rupees a race come on man <laughs> But I guess it's worth it to get Epona in the end. So let's let's try not to uh, use our carrots quite as vigorously as I did in the last one. And also, let's not fall behind and stay towards the inside. <laughs> Come on, baby. We can do this. I think I've got it this time. I think I've got it this time. Yep, I've got it this time. Woohoo! Epona is ours. Well... Kind of. Here we like shoot out again. If the great um, you kind of said this before. Hey you, how about another? Uh, oh wait, I, I seriously have to beat him twice in a row. Oh, well that explains why that why I didn't have as much trouble on the second race as I did the. I mean, uh, I should say the the rematch. Excuse me, than I did on the first one. Well, uh, I guess let's do this again. <laughs> Uh, da, da, da. Stay in front of him, stay in front of him. At least it's only like 30 seconds a race, so it's like no big deal whatsoever. Even if he is a little bit faster this time around. Yeah, yeah I think I've got it this time. I can just use the remaining carrots. There we go. That took longer than expected, but eh. <laughs> I question if I should like cut to that last race or something, I don't know. Well, nah, I'll keep it all in. Ah, oh, what's up with that horse? Is that Epona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? Yeah, as I said before earlier, earlier in the walkthrough, Epona is a very, very wild horse and only responds to Malon or someone who knows Epona's song for whatever reason. So that's how I was able to ride her. And no other horse is fast enough to beat him in a race. So he basically uses the second best horse in the uh, entire ranch. He's like, why? I'm so ticked off. I'm never going to leave you. let you leave the ranch. And you can talk to him. I guess you can talk to him through here. Oh, and uh, let's just see here. How, how can I get out of this ranch here? How could I possibly? Oh, whoops. I just accidentally went over this barricade here. And now Epona is ours forever. Yeah, basically he's a sore loser and wouldn't let us leave the ranch, even though he gave us Epona, which he knows is dirty. But we now have Epona for eternity. And Epona, very, very fast. Much faster than rolling, side flipping, back flip, flipping, hiccuping, <laughs> excuse me. And the next destination we're going to be going to is Kokeriko Village. I'm just taking you by horseback here just to show you how quick we can get there now. <laughs> so anytime you want to call Epona to you, all you have to do is play Epona's song and she will come to you anytime, anywhere within, I think like three fields. <laughs> so I guess it's not anytime, anywhere. I think it's Hyrule Field, um, Lake Hylia, and some other place, maybe. <laughs> Anyway, what we want to do now is go over to the newly built shooting gallery. Remember that building that was being built? Oh wait, is that? Wait, wait, actually, as long as I'm here, let's go to the Skultula house and do a couple thingamabobs here. And you'll notice that uh, the uh, big daddy over here is still uh, uh, a sort of transform Skulltula, sort of like a hybrid or something like that. I already saved all of his kids because I destroyed 51 Skulltulas. Well, I, sh I should say I collected 51 tokens. I've, I've killed more spiders than that. Hooah! Don't you hit me once I strike you? No, you don't. Oh. I could have swore one of you guys, or some of you guys, hit me when I, uh... Maybe it's only the kids or something like that. Well, anyway, I'm looking for the next two prizes I can get from this. Remember that you can get them in 10 rupee intervals. This this prize is for 40 uh, Skulltula tokens. Yeah, it's just more bomb chews. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And over here, this is maybe... 
No, everyone isn't back to normal. Your dad is still stuck as a skull to love, dang it. Uh, reward, and this is what I'm here for. A heart piece! Yeah! Well, a piece of heart. And I also completed another heart container, bringing me to 12, baby. Heck yeah! Now, there's pretty much nothing else for you to do here until you get the remaining 49 Skull to Loves. Yeah, it's gonna take you a while, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> but there's nothing you can do, you just gotta live with it. Now, this building that was being built has now been built. And, oh, I didn't want to fall off the edge, I wanted to break this crate for the fun of it. No, oh, whatever. Yeah, the shooting gallery has moved! No! <laughs> This is for an upgrade for your bow, basically. One of two, and one of the last two upgrades in the game. Since the bow is the only thing that's left, all I have to do is upgrade it twice, and the second upgrade is way, way later in the game. But I might as well get this now, so I'll be able to carry some more uh, arrows along the way, which will be quite handy. Alright, you should know how this goes. I believe it's the same pattern as the other one on... No, I mean, I guess it's not the same pattern. That is going to screw me over. <laughs> I have a feeling one's going to come from here now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Now line. Yeah. Two, where's the other ones? No, 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 no. Must be quicker. Oh, that wasn't too bad actually for my first try for not doing this shooting gallery mini game in a while. Oh wait, it's randomized. Oh wait, no, wait, no, it's not randomized. What am I? Oh, it is randomized. I oh, no, no, no. Freaking. Jesus! Touchy! Controller and stick- No! Now I'm gonna have to pay for another round. <laughs> I hate this game! It's not that hard, really, honestly. It's just very, very twitchy with the controls. Probably because I'm just not used to playing this game with the uh, uh, control stick. And I should say the GameCube's control stick. Uh, so yeah, I guess it just comes in randomized, predetermined patterns, and I just gotta get the hang of getting them fast enough. Yeah, it's looking good this round, I think. Eh, please, I beg of you. Eh, eh. On bouncy one. Wah, yeah, I got it this time. Wonderful, bravo, perfect. Here's a fantastic present. It's a big quiver! Heck yeah! <laughs> and I'm done here! Eh. Back at the Temple of Time, I have something new to show you. I believe this unlocks, or I should say the possibility to do this unlocks after you beat the Forest Temple. And... We are going to see what it is. <laughs> Yes, I did. The sage, we already knew, of course. So don't even refer to her as a sage. We know she, we can just call her Saria. <laughs> well, you know, that's what we call her as a friend, but she is a sage, so I guess that makes a little sense. What the heck am I talking about here, anyway? If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the Pedestal of Time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. And this is what we're going to be doing right now. Well, actually, I will be going, returning into the past and then starting a couple of side quests in the next part as a kid once again. Simply because I can, though. <laughs> oh, and uh, she'll treat, or teach me the prelude of light. I'm not going to be able to play that as well as she did. <laughs> Oh, that was okay. And now, with the prelude of light, we can warp ourselves to the temple anytime we want to. You know, the temple of time. You'll notice that there is one of those fancy schmancy Triforce pads back in the lobby there, and that's how we'll be able to get back there. Ah! Ninja again! <laughs> and now...
Arthur puts his sword back into the stone for whatever reason to transform himself back into a kid, a kid actually. <laughs> hey, all my hair is gone. <laughs> well, anyway, I am going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.